I think I just found the best yield farming strategy decentralized application on the Solana network. Stay tuned. What's up everyone? My name is Johnny and welcome back to the Enora channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a decentralized application on the Solana network that allows you to leverage yield farm. And the type of application I'm talking about is Francium. And so when you take a look at their page where they give some instructions uh, and a brief description, it says that Francium is a decentralized automatic investment platform built on the Solana network. It's for users who want to do leverage yield farming and hedge farming, DeFi combination strategies and smart trading strategies. Now, of course, whenever you're talking about yield farming, you always want to take into consideration the risks that attribute to that. But as far as leverage yield farming, there's even more risk. So these are for all my DGEN traders out there. The beginners um, steer clear of this for now until you can learn more about what leverage trading is all about. I'll cover it a little bit in this video, but this is more for those uh, more advanced traders. So what is leverage yield farming? First, I want to take a deep dive into sort of what that even means. What is leverage? In finance, leverage is a strategy that relies on using borrowed money to increase your potential return on investment. In simple terms, an investor or a trader borrows funds to amplify their exposure to a certain type of asset. So looking at what leverage is in a traditional sense, say that there's a stock out there that is $100 per stock, but I only have 20 bucks. So how am I going to buy this? Marty has $80 that he said he's going to let me borrow because I told Marty about this stock and he thinks that it's going to be doing very well as well. So he lends me his $80. Now I have my original 20 and the $80 that Marty let me borrow. Now I have $100 to buy that stock. But Marty says, hey, man, what if it doesn't do well? Well, what I will offer Marty is a borrower interest of, you know, a certain percentage, whether that's 15 percent, 20 percent. That way, no matter what happens, Marty being the lender, he will make money either way, whether the stock goes up or whether the stock goes down. So let's do an example here for both scenarios. So let's say the stock goes up to $300. I still owe Marty that $80 that he lent me originally, plus the 15% of that borrow interest fee. In this case is $45, which adds up to that $125. That leaves me with the remainder of the $175 in profit. I started with $20 and I ended up with $175. Even though the stock only went up 3x, I made a 9x on my original investment. Now let's say the stock goes down. There is a minimum amount that I get liquidated of the $20 that I put in in order to make a position in this investment. Now, if it goes from $100 originally down to $80, that's where the threshold remains because I still owe Marty that $80. So once it reaches that point, which is a 20% decrease in price, I will automatically give Marty his $80 back plus the $20 that I originally put in. So Marty still made money, not as much as if the stock went up, but he is still covered and I get completely liquidated. So that's why you have to be careful when doing leverage trading, because in a similar sense with cryptocurrency markets, it's a very volatile asset class, more so than traditional stock market. So you have to be very careful. Now, what is yield farming? Yield farming is the practice of staking or lending your crypto assets in order to generate high returns or rewards in the form of additional cryptocurrency. This innovative yet risky and volatile application of DeFi has skyrocketed in popularity in recent thanks to further innovations like liquidity mining. Yield farming is currently the biggest growth driver in DeFi, helping it to go from a $500 million asset class to $10 billion in 2020. So what Francium tries to do is it combines both leverage and yield farming so that we can make as much money as possible with as little money as possible up front. So when you go on Francium's website, you can see that they give you a little bit of a scenario here. Imagine this scenario. Alice is a happy farmer. She has obtained a good return by planting and selling wheat, blah, blah, blah. Let's say that Alice wants to do leverage yield farming. Now imagine she owns $1,000 in USDC and she uses that as well as a borrowed 1000 USDC from another farmer so that she can cultivate more wheat. 
the 1000 USDC borrowed from Bob will generate 10% interest and be returned to Bob. In this case, on the premise that Alice only owns 1000 USDC, she can enjoy an income generated by nearly 2000 USDC. That is a 2x leverage. So essentially with Francium, you don't have to be entered into these liquidity pools by adding liquidity and getting back LP tokens by being a liquidity provider. What you can do is you can stake or put up one cryptocurrency and from there you'll be able to generate high yield at a leverage rate. Let's go into the app. So looking at Francium, you can see that they have a pretty good user interface. Looking at the top here, you can see that there's about 300 million total value locked. What that basically means is it's the value of the total LP tokens locked plus the deposits that are not borrowed. So coin market cap has a nice little definition here. To put simply, total value locked represents the number of assets that are currently being staked in a specific protocol. This value is not meant to represent the number of outstanding loans, but rather the total amount of underlying supply that is being secured by a specific application by DeFi completely. So taking a look at this, you can measure how safe a liquidity pool is by the amount of total value locked. So Francium allows you to do either two things. You can either farm being in a specific yield farming strategy, or you can become a lender. Taking a look at the actual farm page of Francium, you can see that they have different uh, liquidity pools that you can put your money into. Now, before you can do this, you have to have a phantom wallet which is another decentralized web3 wallet that you can use that works on the solana network in order to do that you can just go to phantom.app make sure to have the https in there and you can literally add it to your chrome or brave browser it's pretty simple you just set up an account similar to metamask and then from there you can connect your wallet and you can attach it to your browser extension so knowing that I only have a little bit of Solana in my wallet, I want to take a look and see which one of these uh, yield farming pools I can get into. Taking a look at the one here where it's Solana USDC, you can see that it has a little bit of stats here depending on the yield farming strategy that you want to be a part of. Now you can also see underneath each yield farming strategy, they have a different decentralized exchange protocol listed underneath where they're deriving that from that's also on the solana network namely the radium and orca pools now we can save this for another topic and another video but just know that francium doesn't itself allow people to put their own liquidity uh, in their own pools they're actually deriving these from different decentralized exchanges now, looking back at the Solana USDC yield farming pool, you can see that you can change your leverage amount and the other metrics will change as well. So you can only go up to a max of a 3x on leverage. So seeing here, yield farming, the total APY or annual percentage yield is 429 the trading fee income, this all gets added up, and then the borrowing interest. This was that interest before where now I'm borrowing it from someone like Marty who lent their cryptocurrency to this pool. They are getting a 24% USDC interest every time uh, that someone enters in this pool. So the total APR is 93.23%. And I can adjust the leverage amount on this right hand side here and it'll also either decrease or increase the borrowed interest now let's say i want to do a 3x leverage on this particular yield farming strategy all i have to do is click farm and like i said before instead of adding two cryptocurrencies into a liquidity pool and becoming a liquidity provider you can add one token and francium will find another pool in order to pull the other asset from so seeing how i only have about one solana in my phantom wallet at the very moment i can put one in there and choose my leverage amount here now which asset am i going to borrow since i'm providing solana i'm going to be borrowing usdc and it has a little note here to please keep in mind that when you leverage above 2x you'll have a slight short on the borrowed asset the other paired asset will have typically long exposure so you have to choose which asset you borrow wisely 
Now, seeing that USDC is a stable coin, I feel fairly safe with that. But you also have the option to set up a stop loss, meaning that if your position ends up going south, you have a particular stop loss that you can implement in order for you not to be totally liquidated. One thing that's also pretty interesting is that they have a farming simulator where you can simulate how much your return you're going to receive in the other coin based on the leverage that you set up. So seeing right here how I have my Solana USDC farming simulator, I can say, all right, let's, let's try 30 days. Where's that going to end up? It's going to estimate about a 7% growth or 11 USDC. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but just know this is a pretty conservative simulator. One thing that Francium just added recently is that you can do cross-chain yield farming. What that means is in order to allow users to intensively participate in the revenue opportunity for the first time, Francium has launched this cross-chain section. Francium will quickly integrate the high yield pool of cross-chain assets, allowing users to reap the benefits of leveraged farming for the first time. Francium's lending section will also integrate the corresponding cross-chain asset, the centralized display and the synchronization of the community news for the first time will allow users to quickly track the latest status of such pools. So when you go into the app, you can see here that you can do the cross-chain pool. So instead of doing yield farming strategies in the Solana pool, you can actually do cross-chain yield farming in different networks. Now, of course, you also have the option to become a lender, sort of like how Marty was in the example that I shared before with leverage in order for you to make a smaller, not as big as a leverage position as far as APY, but it sort of acts as a staking mechanism. So going into the app here, looking at the lend, I don't have a position yet, but you can get a higher than usual return on any one of your stable coins, or if you have Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and you can deposit those directly in order to get a higher yield. Let's say you had a Radium token that has about 104.48% APY currently. So if you wanted to deposit Radium in here, it's pretty simple. You just connect your Phantom wallet and then you would deposit your Radium there. Francium also has a section where you can calculate and compare different yield farming opportunities in a one-stop shop calculator. So if you look in the app here, you can actually click on the calculator button where it'll bring you into this cool looking tool where you can put in some inputs as far as which farming pool you want to choose from, the amount of USDC supplied, as well as Solana, and you can change the investing days where you think you're going to be exposed. They have a nice little explanation on their documents section. So what is the Solana yield farming calculator? The yield farming calculator on Francium can be used as a position equity simulator based on different position settings. With the yield farming calculator, you can set up one position and see how much you will earn, how changes in price impact your equity values and the risk of liquidation. You may also model changes in value for different amounts of leverage and different borrowed assets. So I haven't really seen anything like this on the Ethereum network. So this is pretty exclusive just for Solana and I like it a lot. Now, of course, just like I mentioned in the beginning of the video with the high returns that you have exposed to a tool like this, there's also a high amount of risk. And here's what I mean. DeFi protocols are of high risk. So please use at your own discretion. Risk lenders. Timing of the asset return, for example, if the utilization is too high and most of the assets in the pool are occupied, users may not withdraw their deposits in time until the leverage farmers repay their debt. So you could get into a situation where you can't get out of one of these pools until your debt is paid. Bad debt, of course, and loss of capital. Obviously, a loss of capital is something that you enter in with any sort of yield farming protocol or any sort of trade for that matter, but this is more so. The risk to yield farmers, obviously price impact when the price goes up or down, right? You still incur some sort of devaluation there. Impermanent loss. We went over impermanent loss in another video, but it's essentially the difference in price that you would incur if you just held the asset by itself or you entered in a yield farming strategy. 
and then of course, liquidation. Now, of course, with anything decentralized finance related, you also have smart contract risks. Now they try and mitigate this as they say that their decentralized application has been audited. And it says that Francium has been audited by two institutions. However, users should always be aware of the unknown risks caused by code or attackers. So in summary, Francium is a great way in order to get exposure to high leverage yield farming strategies and opportunities built on the Solana network. But you have to know to be careful when approaching these types of opportunities and understand the risks involved. If you guys like the quality of this content, please click like. If you have some constructive criticism, please leave that in the comments below as well. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind.